Hello there everyone and welcome, it is Niran here and today it's time for you to bring you another one of these FIFA 17 career mode in 2025 videos. Basically today I'm going to be showing you what the world of football has evolved into, I think 10 seasons from now, into career mode. Basically just a little bit of an experiment, see what teams rosters are looking like, see who the best players in the world are at this point and see how maybe some of the players that are very good in real life now have declined and the such like. Just to see how transfer sort of values and wages have changed over that period of time as well. If you do go on to enjoy the video, though, feel free to hit the likes button and, of course, subscribe if you're new to the channel. We've got a plenty, a plentiful amount of players involved in this one, and also some teams as well. If there's any specific teams and players that you want to see in the next episode of this, then make sure to drop it in the comments section below, and, of course, I'll show you their overalls, and, of course, I'll show you the teams as well that you suggest in the comments section. But the first player we've got in this video is Charlie Muzonda, someone who was suggested in the comments from last time. Uh, playing for Chelsea, of course, his loan from Real Betis has, of course, expired at this point. 88 overall, 28 years of age at this point in career mode. 99 acceleration, 99 agility, 99 dribbling. We've been over this. There's a lot of players with an attribute that's completely maxed out. It's not the case on the game at the start of it, but it seems to be when people reach their potential, they have this happen to them. Uh, they also seem to all be very pacey as well, as is the next player, Bartos Kapuska. Of course, a man who was an absolute G in uh, Wigan career mode. Yeah, I can't believe I had to think about that. Wigan RTG career mode last year obviously signed for Leicester now he's 84 rated and 28 years of age at this point in the career mode in 2025 next up we move on to the English wonder kid Marcus Rashford of Manchester United again he's another player with some decent maxed out uh, overall uh, sorry attributes even uh, 98 on his dribbling but also 99 acceleration 99 sprint speed just a ridiculous like physicals page overall not great finishing uh, which is quite weird to say what type of player he is in real life um, he's like 88 overall but only 85 finishing uh, nevertheless after that we've got Braille and Bolo of Schalke 88 rated uh, for him as well 28 years of age at this point very quick once again 90 stamina 94 ball control dribbling short passing and long passing really good it seems like some of the attributes that these guys have grown on are really just out of character like why would Mbolo have that good a passing as a winger slash striker doesn't really seem to make much sense, but that is Mbolo at this point, 88 overall. Uh, Daniel Amati, another bit of a legend, really, from um, uh, career mode last season on FIFA 16. Da he he's playing for Leicester, of course, is Mr. Daniel Amati. Uh, 99 stamina for him, uh, another maxed out attribute, 91 stand tackling as well, which is, of course, very good for a holding midfielder. Uh, after that, we've got Harry Kane of Tottenham. He's 31 years of age. I think he may have started to decline just a little bit, or he's on the verge of it anyway. Uh, 90 heading accuracy, really good sprint speed, which you don't really associate with Harry Kane at the moment. 95 shot power, so he's got basically enough shot power to blow down your house uh, if he was going to shoot towards it. And uh, 93 finishing as well for him. Sort of the attribute I'd expect really on Marcus Rashford, actually, uh, when it comes to finishing. And the final player that we're going to look at in depth is Bartlemy Zagowski of Fiorentina, because uh, he was another one suggested in the comment section last time. The Polish goalkeeper is 86 overall, but probably hasn't reached his potential given he's a goalkeeper and only 27 years of age. 94 goalkeeping kicking and 91 goalkeeping reflexes as well, though, for him, uh, which are some very, very, very solid attributes. Uh, nevertheless, we have now got to move on to the teams. Uh, a lot of people saying, well, no, a few people saying that I should scout the whole team. This section isn't really for, um, for looking at the overalls of the players. It's more just to see how the teams have changed over that period of time. Uh, obviously, you know, there's, there's, you know, there's a lot of change. There's a lot of different players and regens. And it would take so long to have to scout everyone. This section isn't really for that. The first half of the video is really for looking at the stats of players. This is just for looking at, you know, and seeing how Arsenal's team has changed. Uh, there's a few regens here and there. Now you can see Mustafi, there's 88 rated. They've also signed someone called Eduard as well, who's 85. They've signed Lucas Ocampos there, you can see as well. Uh, they have made a few signings. Uh, Alex Oxlade Chamberlain there already starting to decline. He's 83. Aaron Ramsey down to a 78. They've still got Jeff Rene, uh, Rene Adelaide and Yaya Sonogo. Chesney's 35. They've got Kevin Trapp as well. They've signed him from PSG. He's 85 at this point. Seems to have a lot of goalkeepers actually. Uh, Wilshire's returned from his loan. He's 82. Granite Chaka there as well is an 87. And look at this. Mesa Urzi is, uh, is 73. And look at that sprint speed. He has 8 sprint speed. Did someone chop off one of his legs? How what is he, how can you physically have eight sprint speed? I don't think it's possible. You have to be moving backwards to have eight sprint speed. But uh, Mesa Ozil, I mean, um, aging has hurt him substantially. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, Emre Chan there, you can see a moment ago, he's 85. For some reason, Nathaniel Klein uh, wasn't scouted, though he's 34 years of age at this point, so he's probably starting to decline quite a lot. Coutinho was 87. Nabil Fekir, who they signed from Lyon. Uh, he'd been at the club actually before 2020 because I remember going through uh, Liverpool's team in the 2020 series uh, and he was there at that point as well. 
Uh, Marco Grujic as well as 85, Loris Karius is 87, uh, Dejan Lovren is on the verge of retirement, Sadio Mane is starting to decline as well, he's 78 now, Lazar Markovic there at 83 as the Serbian winger, uh, not too much change in terms of the roster really for Liverpool, uh, Goncalo Pacencia though is one person who signed for them, and actually, oh actually further down the line, yeah we have got a bit of change actually, Adrian Rabio and Juan Fernando Quintero as well, uh, Roberto Firmino, another player who for some reason isn't um, scouted, and then Daniel Sturridge there you can see is 72 and about to retire as well, Jorginho or Gini Vijnaldum is 75, um, so those guys really starting to decline now, especially Sturridge, Kevin Vimmer as well, and Oyejan Urzakup has also signed for Liverpool, so actually their squad has probably changed one of them the most out of any of them, uh, we'll maybe have a look at Spurs next episode, because I know their team had changed drastically, uh, even as early as 2020. Uh, the third of the five teams we're going to go through, though, uh, for now is West Ham. Uh, another team that was actually suggested in the comments section. A lot of regens for these guys, actually. Uh, Jonathan Caleri still playing for them. He's 81. Edmilson Fernandez there as well is 83. Uh, this is another team that hasn't changed all that much in terms of players they brought in. But they have got a lot of regens. That obviously changes the squad quite a lot. Um, even some of the younger players now. Ashley Fletcher, who was, I think, 17 or, well, no, 19 at the start of the game, is now 29. Manuel Lanzini is, you know, two years away, potentially potentially from retiring on the game. He's 83 though at the moment, so he's actually done very well to hold on to those attributes. Yeah, Artem Azuaku there as well, obviously a legend from Leicester career last season. We've also got Pedro Obiang and Reese Oxford who are still playing for the club. Reese Oxford as well is 83 rated and uh, he's 26, so he probably hasn't quite uh, reached his potential. I think his potential is a bit higher than that anyway. I think it's like 88 or 89 uh, for Reese Oxford. I don't think his 86 is, is his potential. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, and there you can see the bottom there. Winston Reed, Darren Randolph. We've got Martin Samuelson, Declan Rice, a regen and a guy called Spiegel. Um, and then after that, we now move on to Borussia Dortmund. This is the penultimate of the teams we're going to go through. And look at this first guy's name, Darko Alexic. What a name that is. That is a fantastic name uh, for the centre-back from Serbia. We don't know anything about him, but he's playing for uh, for Borussia Dortmund, apparently. Uh, you can see Usman Dembele there. He's 90 rated now. Berkey as well as 83. We've got Eric Derm, Patrick Frisch. Uh, Rafael Guerrero still playing for them, but unfortunately isn't scouted. Uh, Mario Goethe here as well. He's 86 rated um, at this point, Kareem. But obviously, someone who was expected to really become an absolute just world beater in real life hasn't really done so he's a very classy player but he's not really uh, reached the levels of like literally like Ronaldo and Neymar like certain people thought he was going to at first uh, Emre Moore there as well playing for Dortmund they've signed Neves and Mbaye Niang as well uh, Felix Paslik, Paslak sorry and Christian Pulisic have also reached pretty decent uh, potentials or overalls uh, they've also signed Valeri uh, Kazashvili and Ruben Semedo uh, there's some, some more regens in the mix there as well some of the players who used to play for, or still do play for Borussia Dortmund but our youngsters and also Julian Weigel there who is 85 rated and now we start off with Juventus uh, Juventus as squad and we start off with one of the greatest names you're ever gonna see Kingsley Aquafresca as my phone goes off in the background Kingsley Aquafresca who comes up with these names Sydney Rochelle Alder Leal is also a decent one as well uh, Fares Bahluli has also signed for Juventus in this save as well which is quite interesting uh, for the OG subscribers you may well remember him from West Ham career mode in FIFA 15 where we signed him on loan in season number one. He actually did a pretty good job and he had a higher potential back then but uh, I don't think his potential is that good anymore. Uh, Kingsley Coman and Paolo Dybala still play for Juventus, 88 and 92 uh, rated respectively. And of course a ridiculous amount of regens. I think the amount of regens has, has amplified like exponentially um, between 2020 and 2025. Uh, Federico Mattiello as well, they're 84 rated. Luca Morone and Norberto Neto also still playing for Juventus. Some other players here that may have signed, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, Miralem Pjanic as well, starting to decline massively. He's 76. Uh, the two Ruganis, one of them's real and one of them's a regen. I don't think we can really call them brothers. Uh, but Danieli there as well, he's 87 and Diego is a regen. Uh, and then the rest of the Juventus squad there as well as we go further down. So Anitata and Mattia Vitali still playing for Juventus. But that is literally about it then uh, for Karimo in 2025 for this episode. Uh, once again, if you want to leave some suggestions for players and teams to include in the next uh, episode of the series, then make sure to drop them in the comments comment section below. We've learned once again that attributes are all over the place this year from EA. Mesa Ozil with 8 sprint speed. Yep, not 80, not 18 even. 8. The single figure 8. And also players with maxed out attributes at 99 for some reason, uh, which is just utterly ridiculous to be quite honest with you. But it's also fun. It's going to make it quite fun. If you have enjoyed though, feel free to hit the likes button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and comment about enjoying the video if you enjoyed it that much. It's been a pleasure though ranting at you guys today. Have a great day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye.